face this year with this team. Golden Eagles turn it over. Lomax for Duran. Oh! Starters back in for Tennessee Tech. Here's Junior. Blocked by Duran. Emotional damage. Golden Eagles 11 to 10. Now Duran working on Goldman. Turnaround in the paint. No. Tip. No. Second opportunity. Boy, he sure is talented, huh? Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dance Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes, and today we're talking hoops. We're talking about San Antonio Spurs, y'all. And as you know, if you've been watching the channel in the last couple of days, the Spurs will likely have three first-round draft picks in this year's draft, man, and I'm hyped. And because of that, I'm going to start looking at the prospects, baby. And the first prospect that came up on my list is Jalen Derwin. Okay, sportingnews.com just released a mock draft today, and they have us taking him, you know, in the first round. And I gotta say, at you know, first glance, this looks like a solid move. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that bell for more videos. Thank you so much for the continued support. Okay, guys, I'm not going to keep you long in this video, but like I said, a Sporting News had a draft profile for this young man, 18-year-old freshman out of Memphis, 6'10", 235 pounds, a straight physical specimen, y'all, man. This dude is intimidating arms, athleticism. He is a, a, the intimidator that the Spurs could use on this team, man. 7'5", wingspan, big hands can protect the rim man he's almost averaging three blocks per game as we speak man he is the prototype for what the spurs need a throwback player that likes to play in the post you know thrives off of lobs thrives off of putbacks thrives off of offensive rebounds thrives somewhat with his back to the basket this guy could fit in with the spurs very well young guy can be molded into what the Spurs need him to be you know I like this I just like this prospect because as you know if you watch the channel man I'm constantly going on and on about us needing size about us needing strength about us needing athleticism up front now I don't know if he could play alongside Pirtle at the power forward position because his you know his shooting skills need work his range definitely needs work he has almost zero three-point capability you know he hits a mid-range jumper every once in a while from what i've seen and what i researched but for the most part he's a bang in the post reliable you know reli reliable when it comes to you know putbacks lobs dunks you know empowering his way in the middle and don't get me wrong in today's nba you got to have a soft touch from 15 pretty much is best for you to have a soft touch from three but at 18 the spurs can help him develop that okay remember this is a development type of system situation for the spurs you know there's no tim duncan david robinson to save us you know where we currently are also when you think about Jalen's strengths you know running the floor putbacks grabbing lobs you have to think about how the spurs are currently constructed we have a really young team we got a team that can run and gun murray at the point likely vassell or primo at the two maybe vassell at the three lonnie walker if we keep lonnie walker you know these are athletic players that can get up and go so to add a player like Jalen to this squad could be explosively good for us okay and not to you know throw Pirtle to the side because Pirtle definitely still has a role on this team because he's proven it this season and he's improved but athleticism isn't his strongest suit so think about it now when Pirtle goes to the bench young 18 19 year old you know Duran comes in and lights up the crowd okay gets the crowd into it you know catches a impossible lob from murray i can visualize that okay and then in practice after games he's working on his 15 the 20 footer you know over and over again with chip england so remember he can help us now to, especially on the defensive end but he could still develop his offensive game you know a lot next season behind the scenes 
all right guys that's it for this one just a short one today they have us projected at number eight are we gonna really have that good of a pick number eight man i hope so you know don't get me wrong we make the playoffs i'm gonna root for this team or the play-in i'm gonna root for this team but if we don't i'm not gonna be terribly upset especially if we get number eight good god you can only hope all right guys that's it for this one let me know in the comment section if you think this is a guy we should go after lord knows we need size lord knows we need athleticism up front i think he may be a winner all right guys i will catch you in the comments Peace.